Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Turtle Rock. In the last part, I got lost a lot in this area. This time, we are going to be making a quick push trying to get to the end. We can just be spotted the key, so it's just a matter of making it there now. Uh, we can get across here pretty quickly. But we haven't gotten to the second floor yet. Fortunately, a quick freeze is usually enough to solve that problem. Though it is made of lava, so... Can I lock it in like, the middle? No. Fine. No path that we can use, unfortunately. raise the side, and let's see if we can actually make it through over here. So once we take out all four of these pillars, what's going to happen? We get an item, and this item is probably the compass. It's the compass! No way. Yeah, we can now see there's for sure There is for sure a um, key right up to the top. Right. Stepping on this will actually open up this last area for us, which we know right now that is the portal we're going to need. So we'll take this this way, freeze it, and teleport. Actually, one second, what happens if we take the lower of the two portals? Since we can actually make it there right now. Fine. Have a good one, random enemy. The lower the two portals gives us our key, which means the taller the two portals happens to give us one thing better. It gives us our heart piece. Because we still remember we were going after that as well for this trip. So it's not the end of the world that we have taken as long as we have with the key that we now have, which was available for quite some time, unfortunately. Thankfully, we have the stamina scroll giving us a chance to finish this one. But. Yeah, no, no games. We're gonna get this as optimally as possible. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There. Oh. It would not let me make one close enough to do anything. This should be our way over to the uh, heart piece. And if it is, my apologies, I am just going to take the um, bell out and then teleport with the portal across. So, here it is, our heart piece. Three more to collect to get a heart container. Of course it would. Let's go back. Um, for, so for our one piece of heart, it only cost us two thirds of a life. That went ridiculously easier compared to the last one. However, it is time. We've only got a few things left in this dungeon to do. Um, a few items that are probably of no importance, all things considered. Um, we'll teleport down to the first floor. We've got our key. We've got our plans. It's just a matter of let's head to the boss. Cross over here and go into this door. I had the upgraded, um, what's it called? The upgraded, 
uh, Ice Rod when I went through here the first time, like on my first playthrough, and it made it not so, so much easier, but a little easier. There it is, there is our boss door. And you can see we finally got a pathway to get us to the boss. down and man the hardest part of this boss is getting to the boss apparently all right we have made it up oh I could have merged to them well I learned something old every day So, we can see there was still a treasure chest somewhere hidden in this area, but... Our entrance to the boss has opened. For items, we are going to want to... Let's bring our hammer, because I like my hammer. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to hit him very well with it, since... Oh yeah, it might just be, uh, for the most phases, you can only hit him with the ice rod, but that's not the point. Fortunately, you can see there's an edge. So we are just trying to hurt him every chance we get. He can burn us anywhere through this area. Uh, but we can only ice him through these gaps, since the ice is generated above us. And he's gone. I think that means he's moved on to phase two, which gives us a chance to actually hit him with the sword or the hammer. Those beautiful sounds. And I believe Turtle Rock is down. It can explode a few more times, but we both know that's not going to do anything to us. We've got our sword, we've got plenty of defense thanks to the blue tunic, and we've got the max rated weapon. So, with in this part we did collect a heart piece, and it's going to be the beginning of our heart piece collection. And we can get Impa. I forgot Impa was the last sage. Which means we are at the end of the game, guys. Uh, we have gotten every Sage Freed. We have gotten... We haven't purchased every weapon yet. That is something we're going to need to do still. Um, but we have freed every Sage. We have upgraded our sword to the max. We have got the blue tunic. We have upgraded our shield. We have upgraded our stamina. So, the seven Sages will now summon the Triforce of Courage. Which is exactly what Hilda wants, so it'll work out well. It takes a bit to load, apparently. <laughs> He's just like, I'm just gonna stand like this, it'll work. But, with everything finally loaded, we are able to get the Triforce of Courage which doesn't do anything for us, really. Uh, it just means we can continue the game, storyline-wise. But the important thing is we can start the collection of heart pieces. 
There are 14 in high rule, and there are 14 in low rule. Um, so, let us begin our ascent. You can talk to all of these guys. Unfortunately, we pretty much ignored them during the first time we saw them, except for Gully, which kind of forces you. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. But we now have the Triforce of Courage. I wish it just gave us Triforce of Power. Ganon has nothing now, good luck. We have claimed the power of the gods. With it, we can stop the return of the Demon King and thwart his evil ambitions. Hey, go to the Rural Castle. We've got a few things to do first. We can't, we can't go right there now. Our first goal... Fine. I will wait for it to come up. I will go. I will cross. And then I will play the bell. We're headed back to the vacant house. While we may have acquired one of low rules already, we want to get the rest of them in high rule first, because why not? Uh, high rule is easier, and we've not been there for the last few episodes. We didn't spend much time when we were there uh, earlier yesterday, I guess is what it would have been. So. Hello, our first one we're going to go for is the one that I always go for first. I usually get the second I can. Um, the Kakariko Village one, the one that we almost did without, like, the second we got the Power Glove, we're like, yeah! But I decided, no, no, let's do it. Delayed. Uh, there are actually a few ways you can get this one. One of which is to take this guy and hop off and fly around because you can fly right into the cage there. So you don't actually need the power gloves for it, but I always thought we did. But that's one way to get it. In any case, we have our first heart piece. Yeah, we've just jumped straight into it. Unfortunately, there is one annoyance that will be finishing up the rest of the part. So we aren't going to get an extra heart here. We're going to be getting our first extra heart next time. We're going to the Kuko Rush minigame. Which does cost, I think, about 50 rupees to do. We have, we have 800. We will be fine. So, hello. Of course, we'll play with the cuckoos. Go into that enclosure and then dodge cuckoos for 30 seconds. And unfortunately, this isn't even the one that we need to do it to get the heart piece on. Are you ready? In that case, start. And you can see the like yellower ones are really high, so they aren't hitting us quickly. However, uh, any of these touch me, we die. So think of when you really annoyed all the cuckoos before in the other Legend of Zelda's. Uh, they touch you, yeah, you die. And this is probably where we're going to be ending it. One more time. Burns another 20 rupees of ours, not the end of the world. We have plenty. However, this is going to be where we end the episode um, at the end of this. So I guess enjoy some failure or enjoy some success, uh, whichever it happens to be. Because there isn't actually, a, there is another difficulty past this one that we have to do. Uh, if we survive this one, and that'll give us a chance for the heart piece. So we've burnt 40 rupees on this one already. And we get killed by another Coco. Alright, let's give it another shot. Yeah, this is why I didn't spend this 800 that I got, because we need it for these next few missions. Because we need one here, and then there was also that Rupee Rush game. We've popped into it for the Mayamai. Mai. That is another place we are going to require uh, rupees to start, but we will gain rupees at least. Um, even if we fail um, to get the heart piece, we can still get plenty of rupees out of that minigame. Uh, I hate the high flying ones, they distract me too much from the lower ones. One, zero. We have finished up this minigame. 
Nicely done. Here's our prize, 40 rupees. So, as long as you can beat it every try, it's a it's a worthwhile one. If it takes you to... Want to try again? Yes. Which level? We now have also the chick level. Unfortunately, we need to beat it on rooster. So, let's do this one. We're going to we're going to put one attempt of this one. And then, uh, starting next time, we'll be on Rooster difficulty, provided that is the next one. I think it is only three difficulties. So. Oh yes, there are much bigger um, Tuckos going through now. Okay, I didn't have much I could do there. But, that's where I'm going to call it. See you guys next time when we are going to taste on against the rooster difficulty. See you guys then.